mighty powers who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name. Lord, you do great things which we cannot comprehend. In any condition you find yourself, don't give up. The story I'm about relating to you confesses God's great and mighty powers boldly. This story will inspire your faith in God. It will make you to have a faithful endurance. For endurance under trials and temptation. Bring praise and glory to God. Listening to this we help you to understand what God has done for me. He's doing and we yet do to bring you happiness in your life. It does not matter what religion you are unto God. But believe in the power of God. Every day. 
advised him to marry another woman. He refused because he loves me so much. He and I kept on visiting hospitals, taking various types of treatment, all to no avail. I felt very worried, asking why I should be in this problem and how long these difficult times will last. We went to hospitals in other states. We have been to Port Harcourt, Calabar, Enugu to mention but a few. Without hesitation, we went to these hospitals on people's recommendation, not considering distance and cost, but a pretty good effort failed. The doctors were still saying the same thing, singing the same old song. In the process of searching for solution, my husband lost his job for accepting himself from office. This simply compounded our problems. Things became so hard and very tough. We were subjected to critical management. I didn't know what came upon my marriage. Every minute my face was better in tears. But weeping did not solve my problem. Later we went to a renowned hospital in Lagos. The tiny doctor out of pity advised us to go for child adoption. I supported the doctor's piece of advice. But my loving husband refused his consent to the doctor's advice. God is an instructor. And the word of God is a channel of instruction. In the Bible, God instructed husbands to love their wives. My husband acted in obedience to God's command. But his people saw God's instruction as foolishness. Not knowing that the foolishness of God is wiser than men. I am talking about places I went with my husband. I don't want to mention some of the places I went alone with my sympathizing friends. Broken heart. When we saw that she was not listening to our pleas, and there was no 